So I'm back here with another RC car, but this one I did show you guys a while back, but I thought I'd do a quick video on it because it it is a budget car coming in at $20, just 20 bucks. So that's not too bad. Everybody could afford $20. We'll go ahead and take a quick look. This is 132 scale. Um, we'll go ahead and bring this up here. You can see it says that it goes 20 Ks. So we got 20 kilometers an hour. That's what it's claiming. Excuse me. Um, if you see it, it looks pretty, pretty cool. You can see the um, full proportional control. 132 scale. And then we go to uh, RTR and then, you know. So it is 2 gigahertz, two-wheel drive, electric. Well, the back of the box, the side of the box, the other side of the box, front of the box, and the other side. So there's nothing going on on the box, just pretty much the front. You open it. So far, presentation is pretty good. You get this little flap here and I'll go ahead and show you guys this kind of tells you about the RC car and then there's two of them here and then... so that's pretty nice so you get this and you just go ahead and um, flip that right on out out of your way and here's what we got Let's go ahead and lift it up. Okay, so of course this is not a true unboxing. So if it was, the little battery would be right here. So this is everything you get. So let's go ahead and pull this out. So here's your transmitter, which is pretty good. I like it. I had to put some oil in there. And now it's really smooth. It was like squeaky, like... You know, really squeaky, really squeaky. But uh, all I had to do is fix that with a little, um, takes four batteries with a little bit of oil. So it takes four batteries and uh, even the batteries are pretty cool. They like go into a little, um, they pull out this plastic tray thing and uh, you put the batteries in and put it back in. So it's pretty cool. I like that. You got, um, it can charge right here, right off the transmitter. You can see there's a little cable right there. See it? I don't want to pull it out because it's kind of difficult to get this thing to go back in, sort of. And um, when it's charging, it'll say charge. And then uh, this is like when you're just using it normally. So right now that light is on. It's flashing. I'm trying to look for a signal. And here's the actual RC car itself. The little body here doesn't come off. Or at least I'm not taking it off. But it, I tried taking it off before. And it kind of looked like I didn't have a way to come off. Um, probably screw it off. Probably you have to screw it off. But it is a... Uh, uh, like a Lexon body or you know it's like a you know same thing like other RC cars so that's cool I mean at least it looks like a a real RC car I mean these little rims here look pretty cool the little tires look okay uh, we got zero suspension I mean not zero you do get some you can see there I get and then you can see right here, which is not really anything, but you can get away with no suspension in this little car. So I'll go ahead and uh, here's your on and off switch. And here's where you would put your battery and there is where you would charge it. That's the uh, screwdriver. This is where you would charge it. And I use the Wall Toys um, L929. I use the charger from that and I charge it through USB. 
so I don't have to waste my batteries for my transmitter. And then it comes with these cones. And I'm just going to take out one because I'm not going to take them out. They're very difficult to pull out. So you can see, pretty cool cone. And then if we take this out like so, we get this. So you would have to dress it up. So you would have to buy um, some... Um, I mean, excuse me, you would not have to buy it. You would have to put on some stickers. That's it, just a couple of them. And then you get a nice little, uh, pretty cool little manual about your RC car. And uh, like an idiot, I cut it open when I, right here, it had a flap. I was just so much in a rush when I got it. And uh, it comes with a screwdriver so you can go ahead and get started uh, instantly if you're not at home. So that's cool. And then we got this. Now that's awesome. Comes with a little ramp. It's cardboard, but it'll do the trick, you know? So you put the ramp here. We'll move the box out the way a little bit here. We'll kind of just put this uh, right here. I'm not going to put that back inside yet. So we'll go ahead and... Um, Try to see if I could get this to turn on, if it's charged or not. I don't remember. Nope. So we got some movement. All right, so let's try it out. Let's see what we got here. Um, let me go ahead and raise this. And it, since it's like a house card, it's okay to show you guys how it can do in here but if you take it outside it does pretty good but it spins out right away though so it needs better tires sometimes i put rubber bands on the tires and it man this thing flies it does go pretty quick i would say about 13 miles per hour It's just difficult to keep it from spinning out. It always wants to spin out. So you gotta be on some really grippy surface. When I take it outside into the street, it does pretty good. It does go pretty fast. Sorry guys, I'm out of view here. Come on. Oh, looks like something went right there. Kind of loud when it turns, but I guess that'll do. It's not too bad. It's a, it's, you see it now. I'm getting more, it's as it warms up, it's getting a little better here. It feels like sometimes as if the back tire, one of them's not spinning. Get over here, guy. Come on. Get back in the view. Yeah, it just feels sometimes like the one tire ain't spinning, but it is. Unless I got hair in there again. Since I have all girls, that sucks. You can't I can't really play with RCs in the house because it gets full of hair right away. Right away too. You see? It has a LiPo battery inside, too.
it does it goes quick i'm telling you it it, it can pull about maybe the 13 miles per hour you know maybe even 14 if, after you uh, come on why are you doing that Well, wow, got stuck there on some wires there. And, um, you know, I was going to make a video of, with the Sega Saturn. I mean, uh, Sega... Yesterday with the Sega 32X. Because I wanted to show you guys some 32X games. And my wire that connects to the audio video of the Sega just fell apart. It doesn't even have any problems with it. It just doesn't work. It's crappy... Of China crap because of it's China it's 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 not any good I could not find one that was not China I mean that was forced to get that I could not find something better than than China I mean at the moment I just couldn't I looked everywhere for a Sega Genesis uh, cable and man they're all China made so I, I couldn't even make the video I was very upset I don't want you guys thinking that I don't want to make videos anymore about gaming. Because I game. Don't think it, gaming is part of my life. So don't think that I'm not gaming anymore. I mean, it's it's been part of my life. Uh, part of my whole family's life, you know, because of me. I've been gaming since they first came out. I never turned my back on gaming. Uh, a lot of people did towards the... Towards the middle of... Uh, like after Sega Genesis, after Sega Saturn fell, people kind of got out of gaming. But anyways, so this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool little RC. You can see it's not too bad. It, it, it takes a while to get used to it, how to drive it. But once you do learn how, it's pretty fast. Like, it, you're definitely not going to get made fun of outside. Like, oh, you're driving that little piece of crap. I'm like, nah. It does. It, it. Oh, I'm dead. Batteries. Wait, wait a minute. No. Nope. Thought the battery was dying. I think my battery is dying. Yeah. Yeah, my battery died. Won't come back. Yeah, it's dead. All right. So that's the end of this video. So it's not too bad of an RC. It's definitely worth twenty bucks. Um. If you like these little tiny miniature cars, and it feels uh, really good, I can launch this thing, and the plastic they used was uh, really good plastic, so this is made really good, it just needs some better tires, and I'm looking for some as I go to the, like, uh, Walmart and stuff, I'll buy another RC, or another, uh, just little cars that have tires, and put some better tires on there, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get some way better speed out of it instead of it spinning out so much but it is a pretty cool car it does go quick comes with everything you need to get started um pretty cool pretty cool so it's twenty dollars on amazon that's the reason why i reviewed it real fast because it, it's definitely uh, worth checking out because it's only 20 bucks and you can see you got your trim right there on the bottom to fix it if it's going too left too much to the left or too much to the right and also gets a couple of trims here you can see we got reverse this will trim reverse and forward so that you know one's not more than the other and it even has a trim here right there for the steering But for some reason, mine needs to be pushed this way um, after I I had dropped it. So it's my fault. But the little car is pretty cool. You can see the transmitter is awesome. And it feels good in the hand. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It doesn't feel hollow. It feels good. Solid. The whole car feels pretty good. So that's it. Don't want to waste your time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I should be back with... Uh, I am going to be back with my Sega Saturn. You can see I got it connected. There's my converter because they have not made a real cable that works actually pretty good. And I'll be talking about that in my next video. So thanks a lot, guys.